konnichiwa and welcome everybody back to Chrome Reviews. It's time for another Mattel Jurassic World review and this time it's the Legacy Collection Jeep Wrangler. And this one is not only Mattel, it's also licensed from Matchbox. I had to look that up but it seems like it's a company owned by Mattel that was separate in the past but they bought it up and they focus on vehicles it seems. So it's like in the past, a rival company for Hot Wheels, and but they, they are kept separate by Mattel, but they are owned by Mattel. And it seems like since it's a vehicle, they use the Matchbox brand on this figure, or figure, toy in general. I don't, can we even call a vehicle a figure? I'm not sure. <laughs> anyway, this one has a whole bunch of licenses, because on the underside there is like, there's a Jeep license, probably uh, supported by Matchbox, and there's the Mattel, and Universal, and also BF Goodrich, which is the tires on the vehicle. I think, well, maybe that's because uh, Matchbox have those licenses, but they could just have painted them totally black, and skipped that license, but they didn't. And I think that's good though, because it, it it's a little detail that we may may not like think about that much but it's an important detail it, to have the correct um, text on it and all that and I love it I mean it adds to the the richness in details on this thing and I had to look up the Jeep's number it's 18 Jeep 18 was the very Jeep that Alan Grant and Alice Sattler was riding when they first saw the Brachiosaurus. I first was thinking that, yeah, this Jeep should be, maybe, it's probably the Jeep that Muldoon was driving in the T-Rex chase. But no, that's Jeep 10. And Nedry have Jeep number 12. So this one is the very Jeep seen in the Brachiosaurus scene and the second jeep that Hammond and Malcolm was riding was jeep 29, the very same jeep that Zack and Grey repair in Jurassic World. It's a little bit of fun facts and a little bit, it's, it's a little bit sad though that the uh, Jurassic World uh, jeep with uh, that's not the legacy jeep but the regular release that have the net trapper Added on, added on it and stuff, is also 18. It would be funny, more fun if it was a different Jeep number so that you could collect both of them being different Jeeps. But it's the very same Jeep. So I will stick to this one because it's more accurate without the net trapper. The net trapper detail is cool though. For kids it will add that Kenner feeling in the past like they're doing stuff that's not movie canon but it adds a cool action feature, that's more action figure 90s style. So I enjoyed the detail, but I will stick to this one for now. Maybe I will get that one, but I'm not sure. So let's get on to the package itself, enough rambling about cool details, because I can keep doing that later. So first off, this one have the same layout in general as the human character packages. It have the orange logo, but there's an orange stripe here for Matchbox brand, but in general it's the same with the T-Rex, the orange logo, Jurassic World Legacy Collection, and it says Jeep Wrangler, I know it does just Jeep in or Wrangler in other languages. And it also shows here that you can roll out the hook, the same type of hook that Nedder use around a tree in the Dilophosaurus scene. From Jurassic Park. And on the side there's a clean dark area with the logo here. It looks really neat. And on the back, yeah, it shows the the wire being used around a tree with Alan Grant and Alice Hatton driving the Jeep. And it shows here you can fold it out. And there actually they have Muldoon and Malcolm in the back seat holds four figures. So basically you can have all the four legacy collection figures in it when you go. Get it. I'm gonna get all of them. And that's nice. That's really nice. So you can display your humans in this Jeep. 
this package is so neat. I mean, I like the legacy. <laughs> the legacy packages are so much more attractive than the the normal Jurassic World. Is. And on the on the back of the package, it's the same. So before opening this up, you need to excuse me if I don't get terms or names of parts correctly on the on a car because this is the first time reviewing a vehicle except for the gyrosphere and I don't know much about cars. I I appreciate and enjoy cars and I like cars in general, especially old cars because they are nice. But I'm not good at the names of parts of cars and I, I don't I'm not good with cars for that matter. So you have to excuse me if I'm rambling wrong words on parts of the car if I'm reviewing the details. But And here we have it out of the box, the Jeep Wrangler. You had to open up the underside of the box and turn like plastic parts in order to release it from the packaging because it was stuck on cones of sorts on the underside of the package. It, it's it's to avoid the model being stolen out of the package in the store, and that's understandable. But it was not that complicated. And here it is now, open up the Jeep number 18 from Jurassic Park. And I must say, I love this Jeep. It, it, it rolls really nicely and smooth, so it's, it's easy to play with. And the details are amazing, I mean, it's of course a lot more plain than a real vehicle would be. There are details on the underside, like all those mechanic parts, but they are simplified and a lot flatter than on a real car, of course. But that's totally fine. And there are the tires have the the text all terrain and BF Goodrich. It's so it's it's basically just like the movie version and the most important part is all the numbers and texts the cleaners for the windshield are just the same color so they are red even though they could have been painted black but that's fine and the lights are stickers so there's a lot of stickers instead of paint jobs in some places. Those are painted, the orange lights. And there is the number 18 there. And the Jurassic Park logo is a sticker here on the license plate. Those extra lights here are not painted. So it's a lot of simple. But the main part, the main colors that's important is, is there. The beige color or khaki and the red colors. And there's also a license plate here and Jurassic Park logos. And the inside is, a, is very simplified, but that's fine. But the only articulated parts on this Jeep is actually the wheels and the, the winch for you can do it like this and, and take it like that around the tree. You can actually, if you would like, okay, I'm not sure how you would attach it there though, but if you manage to detach and attach a new string there, you can replace this with a longer one. It's technically possible if you want a longer one, but I think it's fine. So you do it like that and then you can roll it back in. Okay, that takes a little while. Okay, you can do it like that. It takes a little while to roll it back in, but it's possible. And that's part of the action feature. So the action feature for this Jeep are the rope and the hook. And I think that's quite good that they included that. It would be quite weird without it. Because kids would, if they, at least if they have watched Jurassic Park, they they would want to play the Nedry part, even if they had to do it with Grant and the others, they want to play the Nedry part with this Jeep. 
that and T-Rex chases. Of course, T-Rex chases. And I wish that the wheel was turnable. Not that you would do that that much, but it would be neat if the wheel were turnable. And maybe that you could open the hood. Because kids might want to play repairing it like in Jurassic World when Zack and Grey repairs the Jeep. It would be neat if they could. Even if the details was quite simple like those, it would still be neat if they could open it. So a little bit lacking in the extra features part, but in overall the sculpture and the details look really great. This really resembles a classic Jeep from Jurassic Park and I really love that. And this is my first Jeep, I never had a Kenner one. I want one though to complete the lineup of Wave 1 from Kenner because that's the main wave I collect to complete is Wave 1 because that's my childhood. But I had friends who had the Jeep and stuff so I still grew up with it. And I don't care that much to complete Wave 2. I mean I got the Uteraptor and I'm planning to get Malcolm, but not that much else. But Wave 1 I want to complete. And I want to compare it to this one. I think it will be a little bit bigger, but I think they will match up great. And but it rolls really smoothly, so it will be really easy to play with it for kids at least. So next up is to compare it to humans, and I think it's about right scale. So let's pack them up and put them in. So let's put all the accessories back there. So I'm going to put Alan Grant into the passenger seat because I'm going to have Muldoon do the driving. The example on the box was showing Muldoon in the back seat but I think as a park ranger he deserves to drive. So let's do that, let's have Muldoon driving. The hands are actually perfectly aligned to hold the wheel, and that's great. So Ellie can store her flashlight in the back, and then Ellie can be a lookout for any brachiosaurs and stuff coming their way. So it's it's meant to this is meant to hold four figures. So and then they could it can hold Malcolm but I think it's quite great you can have all the characters sitting in this one on display to save shelf space and all that and then they could like it can jump up compies onto the hood or like blue comps jumping up on the hood. You can play a lot of action with the dinosaurs and the Jeep. I mean, I like the Jurassic World vehicles. I really like to get a few of the Fallen Kingdom ones, the capture vehicles and stuff, but let's be honest. The Jeep Wrangler is Jurassic Park. It's the pinnacle of Jurassic Park. So, here we have a famous T-Rex chasing the Jeep. So kids will be able to snap down and, and right, let's not have it fall off, but it can snap down and take a human out of the car. Must go faster! That's Chaos Theory. I enjoy that a little too much. But this Jeep Wrangler, it's really cool. It's awesome. I mean, I highly recommend this, this one. And 
It's not that much off with this Grant, but he would be too big. His legs would not fit in. But he's he's too big. But I really look forward to getting more vehicles, both Kenner and more Mattel ones, because and diecast. I want a diecast Jeep. I think that was from the Jurassic World lineup to 2015, but. That one looked good, to be honest. I want more of the Jurassic Park vehicles, both new and old. Because, why haven't I earlier? I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> but until next time, I hope you enjoyed this review, and I hope you consider getting one of those, because this is awesome. You can choose between this one and the more dirty one with the capture gear from the normal lineup. It's up to you what which one you prefer. I prefer this one to go with the legacy figures. I might get that one, but not sure yet. So until next time, take care and sayonara.